Welcome back to the battle, in today's video we have a great SUV 2024 Mercedes GLC Coupe vs Audi Q5 Sportback let's see which is the best? Let's start with 2024 Mercedes GLC Coupe. Now it's time to meet the new GLC Coupe. In terms of dimensions, the new Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe is a little different compared to the old model. For example, the length measures 4,763 mm, plus 31 mm, and the height has also increased by 5 mm. The gauge is also larger. The width remained unchanged at 1,890 mm, and the aerodynamic coefficient has been improved. The new model boasts a CD coefficient of 0.27, 0.30 for the old GLC Coupe. More space for luggage thanks to the larger dimensions, the luggage space has increased. The volume of the trunk varies between 390 and 1490 liters, plus 90 liters, depending on the version chosen and the position of the rear seats. If we refer to the exterior design, the new GLC Coupe has taken over the changes introduced last year by the GLC. We get, among other things, a revised front end, narrower headlights, slightly retouched rear and also narrower taillights. The changes to the passenger compartment are perhaps the most notable. The avant-garde interior line is standard, the driver has a digital instrument panel in front of him, with a 12.3-inch screen, and the central display measures 11.9 inches. It goes without saying that we are dealing with the latest version of the MBUX multimedia system. Electrified engines The 2.0-liter engine is the centerpiece of the engine range. Available in gasoline and diesel versions, the unit comes with a 48 volts mild hybrid system. Of course, customers also have three plug-in hybrid versions available, based on the same 2.0-liter unit. Powers vary between 197 and 381 horsepower. In the case of PHEV versions, the battery with a capacity of 31.2 kWh promises a purely electric auto Nomi of over 100 km. The list includes Active Distance Assist Distronic, Active Steering Assist, Traffic Sign Assist, the parking package with a 360-degree video camera, new to the list, and Memory Parking Assist. The new generation Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe will be available on the markets of Western Europe from July 2023. Audi has published the first images and details of the new Q5 Sportback. The Coupe SUV will be available from the first part of next year, and customers will also be able to opt for plug-in hybrid versions. The SQ5 Sportback variant is part of the German manufacturer's offer. The coupe version of the mid-size SUV will be available in the first part of next year, and according to representatives of the German manufacturer, customers will be able to choose gasoline, diesel and plug-in hybrid units. At the front, the Q5 Sportback offers a large single-frame grille, generous side intakes and new chrome elements near the splitter. Sportback is 4.69 meters long, just 7 millimeters longer than the regular version. The width and height have the same values as in the Q5 facelift's datasheet, but the aerodynamic coefficient has been improved as with the regular variant, the SUV coupe will be available with OLED taillights, optional. For the interior, the Germans have prepared a digital instrument panel available in a 12.3-inch version and an infotainment system with a 10.1-inch central screen. The multimedia system uses the new modular infotainment platform 3, MIB3, unit with 10 times the computing power of the old MIB. At launch, the Audi Q5 Sportback will be available with one diesel engine and two petrol units. The Germans will offer the Q5 Sportback 40 TDI version with a 2.0-liter engine and 204 horsepower. Next to the gasoline versions, Audi offers the 40 TFSI, 2.0 liters with 204 horsepower, and 45 TFSI, 2.0 liters with 265 horsepower, variants. The top of the range will be represented by the SQ5 Sportback, 
3.0-liter diesel engine with 347 horsepower. In addition, the Q5 Sportback will also be offered with a plug-in hybrid drive system available in two power versions, but the Germans do not provide details about these.